Hi guys, this is uh, May the 3rd, Mania the 3rd, this is Tash the Starcross Stitcher and today um, for, I'm going to be working on an existing whip and it is Japanese Octagon Box by Chatelaine. That's right, it's a Chatelaine. I have two Chatelaines on the go, this is the first one that I drew out for my whip whips for the month. Um, so if you haven't seen Japanese Octagon Box before, um, it's supposed to be made up into an octagon shaped box like this uh, Which is really pretty right? It's so pretty um, little scissor case and so on. It also comes with a scissor fob that's seen here um, A lot of people though I've seen have done it up to look like this. That's this is what it will look like when it's Finished that's what the whole panorama looks like. I'm thinking of just finishing it like this rather than doing the box um, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. It's really just because I believe the finishing of the boxes will be a bit of a pain in the patootie. Um, although I do like the box. I don't know, I will have to... You buy the finishing instructions separately, and I think that's from Judy O'Dell. Um, and you can actually pay to have it sent away and made up for you, but I doubt I'll do that. So, so when I started this, the horrible picture you got of what it looks like when it's finished was this, this grainy, horrible thing. Um, but even seeing that, I loved it. I thought it was beautiful. So I pulled it out. That's what it'll look like. Yep. Um, I'm doing it on, this picture is on the ice blue linen. I'm doing it on the mint green linen. Um, it's just 32 mint green Belfast from Swigart. Um, and it's quite long, but it's very pretty, right? I love the details on this. There's lots of, um, tons of beads. Oh, that bead on the edge there looks a bit loose. Better tighten that up. Lots of beads, lots of sparklies, um, lots of variegated threads. I think the whole thing is done in silks. Um, needlepoint ink silks and water lilies and so on. Queen stitches, more beads. Um, so I need your opinion, guys. If you can see, hang on, I'm going to have to put this down and reposition my hand. Okay. So if you can see up here, the back stitch I've done around this, these, um, compared to these. I've done the back stitch here in one long line all the way around. The chart actually recommends you to do it in two lines, if you can see the way I've done it there. Two, so it's sort of like an over two back stitch, and this side is an over four back stitch. I've looked at photos online and I've seen people do it both ways. I've also seen people do it as four little over one back stitches. I think, I think I like it with the big long back stitch, this one. And I am thinking I might unpick all the others and make them all look like this because I think this looks good. Um, give me um, a suggestion in the comments as to what you think but I probably will unpick it. So tonight I'll be working on this. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at the rust marks. This needle must be rusted in. Oh yeah, I can't move it. It's rusted. Okay, I need a new needle. It looks like I was practicing some kind of weaving there. Interesting. Um, so tonight I think I'll be working on this third panel. I need to do a bit more glittery and glittery stuff and beads. I need to backstitch that lamp. Um, and I need to finish the top. So that's what I'll do tonight, probably. Um, so along the bottom, you can see every other panel has a lamp. They're all the same. And then each of these corresponds to a season. I think this is... Let's look at the finished one. Um, yeah, so this is summer, because this is like the summery area. This is autumn. This is winter. And that's spring, because there's a lovely cherry blossom tree. Um, I love the little bonsais. I love this little bonsai here with the little back stitches. I think it looks so cute. So yeah, this is Japanese Octagon Box by Chatelaine. This is what I'll be working on for Mania the 3rd. I hope you're all having a great mania. Um, I didn't get much stitching done last night on um, Autumn Lace. I've already put it away so I can't show you. But I ended up doing two little lines of whipped chain stitch and seven beads. Actually 14 beads because there were two beads stacked on top of each other. Um, but that's it. So hopefully I'll be a bit more productive tonight. I'd love to actually finish this panel and correct these gold stitches. But we'll see how we go. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.